2024, things are getting really crazy out there and we're exposed to it every day. It's an awakening, but negativity is at an all time high and we need new and upgraded tools to deal with everything that's going on out there. So let's learn some new effective spiritual cleansing techniques and psychic self-protection for 2024. You cannot help but to be affected by other people, just like you cannot help but to affect other people. We're all energy. We're all part of a collective. We all affect each other, but we do not need to be victims of that. People are hurting out there. They're suffering. Plus they're deeply programmed and they're not able to handle these high frequencies. But again, you don't have to be victim of that. So in this video, we've got about five or six techniques. A lot of them are clearing techniques, but the last two are shielding techniques. The most important thing to know, and this is what's going to make all the other techniques work, is that you already are protected. You are one aligned with God or source or spirit. Nobody's more powerful than you. So own that. You're already protected. You're already safe. So that, that's extremely, extremely important. Nobody is stronger than you. We all draw from the same power. Now, the next thing to know is there are three ways or three primary ways that you can pick up negative energies from others. The first is called cording, and that's when people literally send etheric cords. Usually that happens when somebody wants to manipulate you, manipulate your thinking. It, it comes through like psychic vampirism and stuff like that. So courting happens all the time. A lot of times it's subconscious. The second way that others can affect your energies is through what I call implanting. And that's when people leave energetic energies within your energetic field. That will often come up when people want to say dump their emotions on you or project their stuff on you. And it, it almost can be like an energetic slime that, that, that affects within or around your energetic field. The third way that, that you can be affected by others negatively is through spirit attachment or entity attachment. A lot of people, probably more people than not, have entities around them depending upon things like what their energy is, what their fears are, what they attract to themselves. And they can, it's usually subconscious, though not always, but usually it's subconscious, but their entities can become attached to you also. So let's dive into the techniques now. Technique number one is this. I inhale. I go. Bah! Bah! Now, I do this technique in the morning. This clears any energy that's stuck in your body and in your fields that you don't want. When I bring my arms up, I go on my tippy toes. I inhale. Then when I bring my arms out here, I condense all my energies into like a black hole in my sacrum and bring my, my uh, fists in here. And then when I go, pa, I explode that energy out, almost like a supernova. Pa, pa, pa. You can do this anytime that you feel that there's some negative energy or energy that you want to get rid of from your energy fields. And if this wasn't clear when I was demonstrating, as I inhale and go on my tippy toes, when I exhale and go, ha, ah, I'm actually dropping down to my heels and allowing the gravity to assist in exploding the energies out of me. So there, there's that one. So the next one is doing cold showers. In the morning is the best time or, or cold plunges. And I learned this through Kundalini Yoga and through Wim Hof. But I work with a shaman from Machu Picchu who told me that by doing this in the morning, by doing cold showers in the morning, it washes away any entities or any negative energies you may have picked up overnight. So do it, your cold showers with intention. Three hours is recommended. You can start warm and go cold. I just plunge right into the cold myself. But I'm, I'm a crazy man. You, you do it your way and we'll all be good. So another technique, this is a, working with the powers of a crystal or working with crystals. You can visualize a crystal or, um, or if you have a crystal, you can place that in front of you. And what you want to do with this one, you, you won't, like in any other technique or process, you always want to get present. So that's one of the big prerequisites for any spiritual work, including spiritual cleansing. Get present, open heart, 
feel your vibrations blend with source. So that's, that is key. Meditation, practice, and presence key for everything, right? Talk about that in every video at least once. So in this technique, I get very relaxed and I imagine that I step into the crystal, but I also imagine that in my heart chakra, there, there is a crystal, a quartz crystal or whatever crystal that you want. But I imagine that there's a crystal in my heart. So I get very present, relaxed and open. And then in my mind, I step inside of the crystal. And then while I'm in the crystal, I, I just gauge how I feel, how I feel differently when I step in. Maybe you'll get some psychic smells or visions or, or other impressions or messages, but step into that crystal feeling that crystal now in my heart expanding through my body through my energy field and blending with the crystal all around me and I become one with the crystal and by doing that that clears any lower vibrations and keeps me uh, safe uh, from any lower vibrations also so it's a clearing and a shielding technique another one is working with violet fire you can work with Saint Germain you can use a creed we have uh, videos for this and all, all these techniques, you know, somewhere on the channel. But anyway, for this one, the way I do it for this technique, which is unique um, for, to me and people that I work with, is the first step is I'll, I'll either have an amethyst or, or, or I'll visualize an amethyst, which is a crystal that happens to be violet <laughs> in color. And in my mind, what I do is I step into the amethyst. And when I'm in the amethyst, it's sort of the same thing. I feel my heart open and blending with the amethyst, but I also visualize violet fire clearing and cleansing all ne negative energies away from me. So this last one is primarily for shielding. And by the way, if you subscribe to this channel, YouTube will bring more of your videos into your homepage or on your homepage if you care about that. So the next one is this is called the spirit mirror and there's two ways to do this. Well, I'll, I'll go over the spirit mirror and, and the golden circle of protection. Again, it's self protection. It's not like anything outside of yourself is protecting you. Of course, you can augment that with frequencies or calling an Archangel Michael or other energies or, or beings that are protective to you. And there's so many ways of doing this. But anyway, getting back to the spirit mirror before I go out, um, or if I go into a store where I know it's going to be a little bit dicey energetically, I'll sit for a moment, I'll open my heart, I'll visualize silver light all around me, and then in my mind I flip the silver light out so that my aura is surrounded by a very shiny mirror that points out in all directions. It deflects all negative energy away from me, as well as um, allows any positive energy to get through the mirror. So intention is everything. Intention with visualization and feeling it in your heart makes it real on an energetic level. So I feel safe and protected. I know God or source protects me anyway. I augment that through my visualization, spear mirrors around me, then any negative energy deflects off. And, and an, a uh, variation on that is you can just visualize you're, you're immersed in a golden circle of safety and protection that aligns you with higher frequencies that shields you from no lower frequencies when you go out. And that's basically what I have for you. And I have a bunch more techniques right over here. So if you want to get the most out of this video, check out this one for your viewing pleasure as well as your ability to clear all negative or lower energies and be shielded. I love you and I'll see you at the next video. Namaste.